10 Books That Shine a Light on Mindfulness Practicing mindfulness means living in the moment here and now and being aware of your feelings, body, surroundings, and experiences. It can help you decompress, reflect, or clear your mind. Some activities used to help people achieve mindfulness are meditation, yoga, tai chi, and qigong. Number 1. Mindfulness, an 8-week plan for finding peace in a frantic world. Our fast-paced, technology-driven world can cause anxiety in itself. Mindfulness teaches you how to use mindfulness-based cognitive therapy MBCT, a technique used by therapists to help people with anxiety and depression. Author Mark Williams speaks with authority on this subject because he and his colleagues developed the technique. The book also includes mindful meditations you can access. Number 2. Time Mindfulness, The New Science of Health and Happiness Mindfulness isn't only for people with anxiety and depression. Anyone can benefit from unplugging and being present in the moment. The editors from Time put together the guide Time Mindfulness to help explain the science behind mindfulness and its benefits. There are also tips for practicing meditation. Number 3. 10-Minute Mindfulness 71 Habits for Living in the Present Moment It takes just a few minutes to live in the moment, according to authors S.J. Scott and Barry Davenport. Their book, 10-Minute Mindfulness, is designed to help you integrate mindful habits into your daily routine. Each of the habits listed offers a different way to be mindful, similar to a choose-your-own-adventure game. Find the ones that work best for you and stick with them. Number 4. A Mindfulness-Based Stress Reduction Workbook Stress can cause us to develop lots of unhealthy habits without even realizing it. A Mindfulness-Based Stress Reduction Workbook teaches you to use the Mindfulness-Based Stress Reduction MBSR, technique to replace stress-related habits with mindful habits. Number 5. Mindful Games, Sharing Mindfulness and Meditation with Children, Teens, and Families kids often learn through play. Author Susan Kaiser Greenland created mindful games as a fun way to show them how to practice mindfulness. She draws on her own experiences teaching mindfulness in a classroom to teach parents and caregivers how they can introduce the techniques to kids. The book includes 50 games that help develop breathing, focus, self-regulating emotions, and more. Number 6. Real Love the Art of Mindful Connection Being mentally present can also help you love yourself and those around you. Real Love focuses on teaching meditation techniques that help you form deeper relationships. The book also challenges pop culture's views of love. Instead of viewing love as romantic, author Sharon Salzberg encourages you to look further and see it as a deep connection with the power to heal. Number 7. No Time Like the Present finding freedom, love, and joy right where you are. We can't change the past, or predict the future, but we can make an effort to improve or appreciate the present. In no time like the present, author Jack Kornfield combines his own anecdotal stories with mindfulness and meditation techniques to get you to do just that. The chapters are divided by types of freedom, freedom from fear, freedom to love, and so on. Cornfield's goal is to help you gain empowerment and freedom to keep moving forward. Number 8. Yoga Girl Yoga Girl Rachel Burthen first became known for her Instagram account, which showcased pictures of her performing yoga poses against beautiful tropical backgrounds. In the book, Burthen shares more about her life, from her rebellious teenage years, to how she's built a healthy, happy life today. Use your step-by-step -step guide to practice yoga poses on your own and read about how yoga and meditation made a difference for her. Number 9. Every Body Yoga, Let Go of Fear, Get on the Mat, Love Your Body. There's no such thing as a yoga body because everybody is a yoga body. Jessamine Stanley challenges stereotypes in every body yoga while teaching basic yoga poses and practices. She believes in body acceptance and welcomes yoga beginners of all shapes and sizes. 
In addition to yoga poses, Stanley also shares her personal struggles and how she used yoga to get to a healthier place in life. And number 10. Living your yoga, finding the spiritual in everyday life. You might feel relaxed and enlightened in the studio, but what about after yoga class? Living your yoga explains how you can bring the practice's intention to your daily life. Author Judith Hankson Lassader combines her knowledge of the ancient technique with her life experiences and relationships to explain how you can take yoga beyond the mat. We pick these items based on the quality of the products, and list the pros and cons of each to help you determine which will work best for you. Thanks for watching. If you like this video, please subscribe our channel for more.